Shalom Israel, Shalom. There's so much more, you know, there's so much more that can be said. Um, but first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekach, Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Yeah, bro, there was so much to be said. Um, when we, you know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, meditated upon this scripture and the understanding, you know, that goes along with this this great awakening to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. It's uh I don't want to say deep, but it is it is so much more than just uh, you know t-shirt t-shirts and fringes, of course. <sighs> it's so much more than you know uh, cursing out the white man and all this shit. We're talking about a changing of worlds, bro. We're talking about the creator of all things have made it known. You know, to us, what his plans are. You know, that the kingdom of heaven is about to be established. Everything that we have known is about to be changed. A changing of worlds, like the, like the elders say. You know, an everlasting rulership, bro. We're, we're, we're dwelling with righteousness. Okay? And the Lord has, has blessed us and called us. You know, to do to be in the service of of, of, of him. You know, to to herald in this 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 to herald in this change, bro. To herald in that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? So let's get into the epistle, Lord willing. It's going to be edifying and exhorting. I, uh, you know, this through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shem Hashem, man. The scriptures kept coming, and I realized that it was it was big. It was way big. So I I. Uh, probably gonna have to break this up in pieces um because we you gotta get to the plantation and everything and uh it's just so beautiful bro lord willing it's, it's gonna come out to the best of my ability gonna try to bring it out man through the spirit and the power of yahweh shema shah if any brother have any uh, uh scriptures would be highly appreciated to put them in the in the description box okay uh let's get right into it let's let's go straight to the scripture that would that's it you know the title of this epistle, which is uh, Romans chapter 2, verse 21. Well, let's start at, um, let's start at verse 17. Romans chapter 2, verse 17. Behold, thou art called a Jew, and re restest in the law, okay, and makest thou boast of Yahweh Shemashah. And knoweth his will, and approveth the things that are more excellent, being instructed out of the law. You know, uh, and I mean, I can't, I can't say it enough. When I learn something from the brothers, you know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Hashai, you know, um, there's an order to things. When I learn something from the brothers, I, I want to say, you know what, I learned this from from such and such. You know, through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Hashai. You know, as the script proclaimed, he gave some apostles, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. So I remember, the, you know, uh, when I first heard uh, Mysteries of the Kingdom speak about the law. You know, from cover to cover, the book of life. It, that, that in itself, bro, that is in itself is a mystery. You know, that it is in itself escapes, you know, the, 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 the understanding of these plantation Christianities. Okay? Cause this is a this is our heritage, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. We are the Lord's chosen people, bro. All right, man, that thing's super hot. Why is it so super freaking hot, bro? It's lucky. Every time. Look at that. That thing was up there. Hopefully, it wasn't sounding too stretchy. Okay. Let's go back. Romans chapter two. Verse 18, and knoweth his will and approveth the things that are more excellent being instructed out of the law. And art confident that thou thyself art a guide to the blind, 
right? A, a, a light of them which are in darkness, right? What well, the scriptures say that the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they shall seek the law out of his mouth. You know, that's why the Lord has blessed us with this understanding to understand the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. To, hey, give them warning from Yahweh Shemashah to condemn this wicked as world, right? And art com confident that thou thyself art a guide to the blind, a light of them which are in darkness, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes which have the form of knowledge and the truth in the law. And here's the point that therefore which teaches another teaches thou not thyself right thou that preaches a man should not steal does thou steal thou that saith a man should not commit adultery does doubt commit adultery thou that, that abhorreth idols does doubt commit sacrilege thou that maketh thy boast of the law through breaking the law dishonoreth Yahweh by Shemashai for the name of Yahweh Shemashah is blasphemy among the Gentiles through you as it is written. Okay? Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, so, when we first, you know, began this epistle, you know, uh, started to sit down and meditate upon when thou teaches another, does thou not teach thyself? You know, the first thing we thought about was, you know, teaching the 100% truth believing first you have to believe in the hundred percent truth to teach it you got to get the holy spirit of yahweh to understand you got to sit your ass down and be taught by men starting with the elders apostle great millstone with the hundred percent truth right um what does the scripture say uh and teach these to the wise of the people that shall be able to teach others also roughly paraphrasing something like that yeah you got to humble yourself right humble down and understand what you're truly involved in, bro. And by doing this, you know, the Lord bless you, call you out of that darkness into his marvelous light to give you that Holy Spirit. To, to, to uh, what did the scripture say? Those that are escaped, you know, those that are escaped shall no more stay upon them that smoke them. You're going to be, uh, what did the scripture say? Um, uh, there's no enchantment against Jacob. So, when the Lord put the Spirit on you to start teaching, bro, you uh, you are like break, breaking free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He that believed on me, as the Scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Because you you break free, you be like, you start teaching the truth. If you start teaching the hundred percent truth, that's why you know we're, we're damn proclaiming at top of the lungs, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, bro. There's only one doctrine. Everybody else is going to fuck off, period, point blank. Because you start to break free of all the lies and the deception and the false doctrines and the, and the philosophies of this world. Those strange women, right? You know, what the f Wait a minute. We was going off. You know, in, in a lot of, in so many different ways, my man. So many different ways. If it's not the worshiping of women, worshiping of money, or worshiping yourself on your birthday, you know, worshiping of idols, this false god, false god, false, false god, false idol, so-called name JC or Buddha or Allah, you know, uh, the list just goes on and on. Being a part of this wicked ass world, you know, uh, condoning the wickedness, calling good evil and evil good, it it doesn't stop. It's a you know, it's a total, it's a it's a it's a serious. It's a serious um, spiritual battle, bro, that the Lord has blessed us and called us into. So when thou, let's go back. What the hell is this? Let's go back to it. This, look, the phone doing all kind of crazy shit since I, wait, hey man, don't, don't be doing that. Don't be messing with me. Let's go back. Okay, Salaki. Let's go back. Romans chapter 2 verse 21. Thou therefore which teaches another, teaches not, thy, not thyself. Right. Come on. Thou that preaches a man should not steal, does thou steal? Thou that saith a man should not commit adultery, does thou commit adultery? Thou that does hoard idols, does thou commit sacrifice? Because we're talking about the laws of life that the Lord has blessed us with, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and American Indian. So when the scriptures say salvation is of the Jews, 
and you you might be preaching something else something else some replacement theology you're going off you know when the scriptures say the Lord you know whom you slew and sang on the tree him to have Yahweh exalted to be a prince and a savior to give repentance to Israel but you want to say it's for all nations fucking ass going off you know you don't want to believe in the, the great awakening the, the 12 tribes chart Ezekiel 37 you know going the fuck off plain period the, the MARK you don't want to believe that it's CHIP going off because those are not the words of Yahweh Shem if you're not preaching what's actually written the laws of life this uh um to say before the spirit of prophecy come on let's get into it bro let's go ahead and bring it out once again not not to be super long or nothing that's why we we just said we hey we gotta we're gonna have to break this up this is the book of Romans chapter 14 verse 5 one man esteemeth one day above another another esteemeth every day alike let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind right being fully persuaded in your own mind because you you've actually sat down you've count the cost these are the words of you how about Shema Shai this is what should be going through a man's mind when you when you hear that you're the Israelites and you start investing time into these epistles you're watching the epistles taking notes you know uh, believe if you fully believe in Yahweh Shema Shai once again he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water then you know the Lord dealing with you that that the spirit gonna be shot up in your bones you won't be able to contain this truth be like oh man because where's the, there's no vision of people perish you got to see the vision of the kingdom of heaven bro you got to understand that this is the end of Esau's kingdom because everything lines up so perfectly it's so beautiful the great awakening the the, the 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 devil coming down having great wrath this all this this technology and shit uh you know knowledge should be increased um Shit, World War Three right around the corner. The systematic uh, breaking down of this place, in one way or the other, women women have been put up above the man. Huh? This this changing of kind all over the fuck, sickening. The Lord said, uh, mingled a perverse spirit in Babylon the Great, A.K.A. America. You know, you see the the, the kingdoms, the other nations, being mad at the whore. You know, they, they, the Lord has been a golden cup. You know, the, the Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, bro. It's all just plain. And when you start to, you know, the Lord bless you to, to believe and see these things, you can't, who, who, who can not but prophesy, bro? Because it's the spirit of you. How about Shema Shah is the Lord's will? Come on, let's go. I want to go to, um, and I want to also, you know, once again make mention of, now we're talking about 100% truth over here. And we understand that there's not no lie in the truth. You know, when we speak about the 100% truth, we're talking about everything from cover to cover. You know, the Lord's will being done. We're talking about uh, morning. Talking about, uh, you know, all the way down from the false prophets, the two thirds, the damn Edomites, these other nations who are who are counted as nothing, not being hey, not being ashamed of the Lord, not being ashamed of the gospel, bro not being ashamed of the gospel i want to go i think did i oh thank you lord i did I, I think i separated it i wanted to make sure that i separated this so i could bring it up quickly this is the good news translation okay this is uh ecclesiasticus chapter 4 verse 28 and i wanted it in here it says Let's just go straight to the point, man. Stand up for what is right, even if it costs you your life. You know, and uh, in the KJV, this, this scripture speaks about striving for the truth until death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So this is speaking about, uh, and we, we speak, we're talking about preaching. We're talking about believing. Uh, because when you come back to Yahweh Shemashah in spirit and in truth, you know, uh, the scripture been coming up lately a lot. Uh, there's no fear in love. Uh, scripture speaks about um, uh, put off the now the weak nature 
and the burdens of man because we're we're throwing ourselves on the mercy of Yahweh Shemasha, understanding what we're involved in and the things that are to come, but the things that are present. And we're giving it all up, bro. Come on. Uh, I can't see the screen at all. Uh, hopefully it's going to be okay. I can't see nothing. Hopefully it's still recording and stuff. It says we're just going to trust, you know, and it's going to be everything. Hey, everything is okay, man. Because when thou teaches another, does not thou teach thyself? Like like I told the brother, there was a brother on the comment board the other day. You know, I'm like, yeah, we we when we when we bring out these epistles, we're also getting washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. You know, as well. So this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter four verse twenty eight. Stand up for what is right, even if it costs your costs you your life. The Lord will be fighting on your side, man. Okay. It says, don't be quick to speak or lazy to neglect to or Salaki. It says, don't be quick to speak or lazy and negligent in your work. Don't act like a lion at home or be suspicious of your servants. Don't stick out your hand to get something if you're going to be tight-fisted when the time comes to pay it back. Right. You know, these are laws of life, man. The point I want to make was stand up for what is right. Even if it costs you your life, the Lord will be fighting on your side. Right? Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Um, because what it speaks, speaks about, when a man depart from evil, uh, he maketh himself a prey. And what, like we were speaking about earlier, when the Lord has truly blessed you to, uh, you know, to come out of that, you know, no enchantment against Jacob. To understand this truth 100% truth you know having no guile in your spirit no no guile in your mouth you know we we're in the flesh yeah we're gonna we're gonna be making mistakes we're gonna fall down seven times we're gonna Lord willing get back up Lord willing endure until the end right but when Yahweh Shemashah has blessed you truly blessed you to come back and believe you ain't gonna hey man it, we're not taking no damn shit you know you know, speaking of, think, even thinking about that, when I say, when I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about Elder Apostle Raka. You know? Ah! They ain't taking no shit when it comes to the two thirds of these damn reprobate, of these, uh, those of the circumcision going off. You know? Hell. Because what it's, it's all about the elect, 100% truth. You know? And we're praying and hoping to be a part of that number, bro. Come on, let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 5. Matthew 7 5 it says uh, let's just keep with it with uh, go straight to the point then the Pharisees and scribes asked him why walk not thou why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders but eat bread with unwashed hands and he answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Right? Howbeit in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandments of Yahweh Shemashah, ye hold the traditions of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, that ye may keep your own traditions, right? And man, the Lord has blessed us to experience these things. You know, experience, you know, that these once again, these prophecies are jumping off the page. Not only the prophecies of the of World War Three about uh, what Esau's doing, but these wicked e uh two th but these wicked Israelites, bro. How they so lay aside the commandments of Yahweh Shemashah and come together with a fake ass unity camp. You know? Don't they will not be reproved. You know, because, you know, when you. The scripture speaks about um, re rebuking them so that others may see and fear. These motherfuckers get rebuked, they get even more prouder, more stiff necked. Come back with, hey, what, what'd you say? Uh, Y'all motherfuckers doing this. Yeah, yeah. You, you motherfuckers. They're going to get it, bro. They're going to get it, man. But that's fulfilling prophecy. They have their reward, okay? 
Full well ye reject the commandments of Yahweh by Shemashah that ye may keep your own traditions. For Moses said, Honor thy father and mother, and whosoever curses father and mother, let, let him die the death. But ye say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is corbel, that is to say, a gift by whatsoever ye might as be profited by me, he shall be free. Um, hold on, bro. That's you know what? I wanted something else, man. I really did. Okay, I know, I know what I was looking for. Salaki. But hey, that's a beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Okay. What was going on? Was I in the wrong scripture? I must have been in Mark. Was I in Mark? I was in Mark. That's what it was. I was supposed to be going to Matthew chapter 7 verse 5, bro. Salaki. It says... Let's start at one. It says, judge not that ye be not judged, right? But scripture speaks, of, speaks about um, the spiritual man judges all things, yet is judged of no man because you want to walk in the spirit. You know, these are, these are, uh, once again, you know, speaking about those of the circumcision that would not be reproved because this truth, man, when you come to Yahweh by Shema Shai, John 3, 19 comes to mind. You know, this is the condemnation that light is coming in the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, bro. So this is uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. Judge not that ye may be judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but consider not the beam that is in thine own eye? And that, that, hey, that stands to reason because... I, I can't why why are we speaking about these other Israelite camps and groups so much because this is a like a I don't know like a contrast good is set against evil and life against death so it's the sinner against the godly and the godly against the sinner we're not talking about the other nations we're not talking about Esau Edom at this time why because salvation is of the Jews compelling them to come in you know hey give them warning from me right so um, now with this with this one scripture man we can maybe you know with this one scripture we can see hey uh there's a reason why you don't hear so many rebukes going out from these other israelite camps why because they're fucking going off you know they're going off their deeds are so fucking evil that you know you better not say nothing about nobody else come on and why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye but consider not the being that is in thy own eye or how wilt thou say to thy brother hey you know, that's why the scripture said, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. But if your ass going off, how in the hell can you rebuke anybody else? You know? Plain, right? Or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. And we're not trying to, we're not talking about being over-righteous or nothing, to, but hey, once again, having no guile in your spirit. Once again, believing the report, believing in the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Being doers of the word, not hearers only. You know? And we're going to get into it right now. Thy hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thy see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Right. So, it is like, hey, there's a reason why rebukes are out. There's a reason why, you know, brothers, like, I, I remember when I first came into, came into the ministry and started preaching, you know, asking the big brother elder, is it okay if I go out there, man? I... Didn't, didn't know much, but I believe, bro. I I believe, man. I believed. I, I, it was like I couldn't hold it in. He was like, "Yeah, go." And every time I do an epistle by I me, mean, I'd be praying, "Please, y'all, by Shema If I'm going off, please have one of the brothers rebuke me so I can correct myself. You know, please show me that if I'm going off, let me. I want to be. I want to. You know, want to be. Want to be good. You want to be. Make sure that the doctrine is sound doctrine, bro. You want to be a servant of Yahweh by Shema Shai, my man. You understand, bro? Because this is a very, this is serious. Serious, man. We're, we're not talking about, we're talking about 
an everlasting rulership. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven being established. We're talking about being servants of the one true living God, the creator of all things, brothers and sisters. He has blessed us and called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, okay? So when thou teachest another, dost thou not teach thyself? First cast the beam out of thine own eye, you know? Because we be going through it, bro. There's, there's, you know, we be going through it. We, we have trouble in the flesh. You know, once again, we, we fall down and get back up. And we repent of, of, all, of our shortcomings. And we rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. Once again, not trying to be over-righteous and all that stuff. You know? Understanding we're not justified by keeping the law, but by the faith. And the stripper, we just read a scripture yesterday. Show me thy, a man may say he has faith, but show me thy Show me thy faith by thy works, and I'll show you my my works. So like it, show me thy. How's the strips to go? Let's go get it, bro. It's like a a man may say here. Show me thy faith by thy works. In the book of James, chapter two, verse eighteen. Yea, a man. May say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee thy my faith by my works. Because if you really believe the report, if you really care about your how about bro, you're gonna examine yourself, whether it be in the in the faith, prove your own self. You know, know you're not your own selves. Come on, let's go get that scripture. That's second Corinthians 13. Thirteen and five, right? Examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that your house shot is in you? Right. The Lord said, "I'll be in you, and you'll be in me." There's the words of the Lord. You know, if any man shall speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh Shem Hashem. Once again, you know, when thou teachest another, does thou not want to teach thyself? Teach him with what? By the, by the law, by the laws of life. Right? Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know you not your own self. So how in the hell if somebody rebuke you, y'all hating? Isn't that Yahweh Shai? Isn't that not Yahweh Shai, bro? Isn't that one of the commandments of life? Did not suffer sin upon your brother? You see how, you see the simplicity of Yahweh Shai, Shai? All praise to the Lord, man. Examine yourself whether you be in the in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that your house is in you, except ye be reprobates, bro. Reprobate. It says reprobate in Christian theology is a doctrine which teaches that a person can reject the gospel to a point where God in turn rejects them. And curses their conscience. Okay? You can't learn. You can't see it. Okay? Reprobate. An unprincipled person often used harmoniously or affectionately. Uh, a sinner who is not of the elect and is predestinated to damnation, bro. Damn. going off come on let's get back man so we can start closing it out um i want to go to romans you know following the law of yahweh shimasha following that order and that's why i was speaking about breaking this up we gotta we got man there's so much more we can speak about this is the book of romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of yahweh shimasha that you present your bodies a living sacrifice right listen uh we, we know, we, we understand, once again, where there's no vision of people perish. So, the Lord has commanded all men everywhere to repent, to come back to our true heritage. To, to flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. This is not our rest. Get it up, get it up there. Understand that a changing of world is about to take place. You know, we're not here to prosper and get, get, get it over here. The Lord has blessed, truly blessed us to come out of here and be his servant, bro. 
He's truly blessed us with this 100% truth to seek his face and to get to know him and, and return and, and, uh, and come back and wait on him. Wait on the Lord. Be, be, be strong. You know, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. If the Lord be with us, who can be against us? Understanding this spiritual battle that we're going through. Going through. Understanding who the devil is. You know? Understanding the Lord said, hey, make no covenant with this heathen. Make no covenant with them. Don't get no 501c3 so you can get a gag order, bro. It's time to preach this word of truth. But we understand once again. Spirits of honor, spirits of dishonor. Good is sent against evil, life against death. So it's the sinner against the godly and the godly against the sinner. So we got to constantly, all these things constantly flowing through us. You know, uh, helping us to be uh, temperate, humble, meek. You know, not proud or boastful, knowing that this is not of us. This is of Yahweh Hashem Shah. His will be done, bro. You know, it's beautiful. Um, so what? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Shah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, separate, pure, sanctified, acceptable unto Yahweh Hashem Shah, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, bro. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Shema Shai. Right, your mind. You have no guile in your in your in your mind. Your your mind is constantly set on your on your Yahweh Shema Shai. Your, your understanding, your thoughts, you know, your perception, the way you see things. It's it's in reality, truth. You know, you've broken free from the from the wiles of the devil and all these all these all the deception and everything. You know, you're broken free from this stuff, bro. There ain't no fucking white picket fence you run into no more. You know, we're stacking up our riches in heaven. All these things, man, factor in to being that true servant of, of Yahweh Shemashah, making yourself a living sacrifice to the Lord, bro. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. And we're going to just bring it out now and uh, start to close it up on the way back, I think. Acts three nineteen. Well, we gotta we gotta go back. We gotta go down and come back up, man. Just to, cause he's got a, this 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 quarter here of what we're bringing out here. It's just a quarter of of the of the of the true the full epistle, man. I I think I I don't know. But what we got right now, this is what the Lord has blessed us with this morning. This is the book of Acts chapter three nineteen. Repent, ye therefore, and what be converted. Right. We're talking about being reborn fully persuaded in this own in our own minds being reborn understanding turn away from this world all the way believing in the report all the way okay ain't no ain't no lukewarm we understand what the strippers say about being lukewarm or no man serving two masters mm -mm. being converted this Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it to follow and right around the corner fear should be gripping your ass right now you know when it's and, and hope that the bottom wheel gonna drop out very soon. Hope that they will establish the CBDC, okay? Very soon. And the and, and implementation of the MRK, very soon. Because why? We also have hope that the Lord is gonna bless us, protect us, feed us. You know? I was thinking about that earlier this morning as well about um, uh, something going on right now. You know, in. Uh, you know in my personal about the finances now being like really clenched off like shit man i'm gonna be like really in dire straits soon like hand to mouth soon you know these motherfuckers want it all but i'm glad because what does triple say uh all things work for the good of them that love you how about shimasha the lord's preparing us for this time of this digital currency Cause we, they already say you're gonna own nothing to be happy. You with uh, money that's gonna expire. Um, control of your money. You know, no more. Un, uh, you know, under the mattress money. Nothing like that. So hey, all praises to you. How about Shema Shah? And that's the that's the reality that we're living in right now. That this is the end of an age, the end of a kingdom, and the devil is about to come down having great wrath. So we cleaving unto you. How about Shema Shah, bro? In spirit and in truth, man. Come on, let's go. So, hey, repent ye therefore and be converted. You know, we got so many Israelites that, that want to 
continue to party and play games and make merchandise of the children of Israel, vainglory and all that stuff. You have no idea what the fuck going on. But the Lord has blessed us with this truth. You know? So you that are trouble come and rest with us, man. It made us a king, a nation of kings and priests, bro. Okay? Come on, let's go get it, man. So be fully converted. You know, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Shemashai. Right, being fully submerged in this truth and being on board with Yahweh Shemashai. Not trying to say, hey, no, we got to save all Israel first. Or, no, some of the heathens, did, there's some good people. You know, all this BS, bro. All this, you know, unbelief. But it goes right back to the Lord blessing us with this truth. This is the book of uh, Psalms 119. Okay. 104. It says, Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Period. Because why? Once again, believing the report. Once again, being fully persuaded in their own mind. Once again, Trusting in the Lord with all thine heart and not leaning on thy own understanding. So, we hate every false way. False doctrines, philosophies of men, you know, rudiments of the world, traditions of men. All that shit is false. False gods, false idols. You know, women being an authority over the man, you know. All of it. We hate every false way because the Lord has truly blessed us with these laws of life, man. So once again, when one teaches another, does not one teach thyself? No, this is the true way of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai. Just like you would, you would try to teach a child how to wash dishes or something. And they come fucking around, you, you know, doing something wrong. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. That's not the way I showed you. Do it this way. Plain, right? Come on. Second Corinthians. So lucky we already did that. Except you be reprobates, right? You know, examining ourselves, making sure that we're in the faith, man. Proving our own selves. Know you not your own selves? This is the book of Revelation chapter 1. Let's start at 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh, which Yahweh Shai Shai gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent as and signified it by his angel unto his servant John who bear record of the word you know the word made flesh of Yahweh and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai the spirit of truth the spirit of prophecy and of all things that he saw blessed is he that readeth and blessed is he that understandeth once again thinking about mysteries of the kingdom and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand right keep those things that are written therein for the time is at hand not turning to the right not turning to the left not merch making merchandise to the children of Israel but taking heed to all the commandments taking heed you know taking heed bro for the time is at hand it says John to the seven churches which are in Asia grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Yahweh Shai who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of his kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood bro okay be thankful and he have made us kings and priests unto Yahweh Shemashah, his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's right. He has made us kings and priests, brothers and sisters. This is like a, hey man, this is, this is big. Okay? This is not something to be, you know, uh, <laughs> no. We're talking about an everlasting rulership. An everlasting, we're talking about nobility. Okay? We're not talking about no damn pan, pan sagging, t-shirt fringes wearing ass. Salaki. Temperate, right? Second Peter. 
The first Peter chapter 2 verse 9 is lucky. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, bro. Thank you, Yahweh Shemashah, for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. To understand how the severity and the true blessing, you know, that we're your chosen people above all these other people. Yes, you know, Hosea chapter 6, he has broken, he has torn, you know, but he will heal us. Come, let us return to Yahweh Shemashah, bro. Let us put off the works of darkness, man. You know, let us strive. To enter in, enter into the straight gate, bro. <laughs> so, when one teaches another, does not one teach thyself to continue to grow, to continue to climb, to continue to rebuke your own damn self, to continue to pray to the Lord, to please bless us with the Spirit, to endure, you know, to get back up, to continue to fight, to continue to believe, brothers and sisters, to know. To know man the Lord has not called us for wrath but to obtain salvation okay let's go back to 1st Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 do ye not know that the Saints shall judge the world and if the world shall be judged by you are you not worthy to judge the smallest matters where's the microphone at so we can drop it on on the damn ground Hmm? What you gonna be judging by? By the laws of life that the Lord has blessed us with, bro. If you're going off, your ass just puts plain and simply going off. Okay. Let's go to the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 19. We have also a more short word of prophecy. Where until ye do well, that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And we spoke about all the prophecies. Well, with well, some of them, you know, we roughly paraphrased it. You know, the prophecy is about the M-A-R-K, which is the C-H-I-P being implemented soon. You know, Esau coming down having great wrath. He's got these concentration camps. You know, he's got, he's the sword of the Lord, basically, to cut off two-thirds of the chosen of Israel. He's going to do his part to do that, you know. And ultimately, nuclear war has been shot over here in Babylon the Great to destroy this place. The kingdom of heaven been established. And th but through all that, hey, you know, this gospel's being preached to compel them to come in, to tell you, hey, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man, this is the truth, bro. And I got another, uh... I got a little testimony to bring out. I'm gonna make a little small epistle later on. But I had this brother come up to me this morning. And he simply said, you know, because he uh, humble humbleness, you know, he woke he he opened my eyes, he woke me up, you know. I'm gonna bring it out a little bit later, bro. I gotta go to the plantation and stuff, but we're gonna see if we can bring out a little short epistle about it because it, all praises to you, how about you, my shy man? You know, the angels rejoice when a sinner, you know, roughly paraphrasing, comes to come comes to repentance, you know? And that's what it's all about, man. Uh, proclaiming this word of truth, planting that seed, Yahweh Shemashai gives the increase. Knowing this is not of us, man. And that's what we've been preaching the whole time. Just a hey, continue. Here's the message, like Big Brother Elder say. Manada Zatba from GMS South Carolina, 08. Here's the message. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, then will they know that a prophet had been among them, bro. Come on, let's go. Let's go close it out. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is, is any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old times by the will of man. Once again, we know. You know, one, if you if you truly sincere with this word, you know, you're not gonna be handling the word deceitfully. You're gonna know this is not of you. You know, but you got these uh wicked reprobate Israelites that come in and th but it's got to be you know to come in you know what's the scripture um first first uh first Timothy 4 14 neglect not the gift that is in thee uh which was given to to thee by the land of the hands of the presbytery of, of you know this prophecy 
that the Lord said, I'm going to send Eliza, Eliza, the prophet. He's going to turn the hearts of the sons back to the, to the fathers and the fathers to the son. You know, he's going to give us pastor according to his own heart. It's going to feed us with knowledge. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. You got Israelites that come in, they get a little bit of this knowledge, and they go out. What is about that? Fulfilling the prophecy again and again and again. They, they went out from us that it would be known that they were not of us. Roughly paraphrasing, bro. They went out from us. They're not, you know, the Israel of the Most High. Those walk according to this rule, bro. So when one teaches another, does not one teach thyself? The spirit of truth and the spirit of error, this is what the Lord say. The Lord didn't say that. The priest's lips should keep knowledge and they shall seek the Lord in his mouth. The laws of life, bro. So, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh Shemashi spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, bro. As they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Once again, all praises to Yahweh Shemashi for this epistle. For the spirit of truth please lord you know take that that holy spirit away from us brothers and sisters i want to go to the book of uh isaiah chapter 58 i want to read this real quick i almost wanted to get this in the in the uh can we get it in the uh in the good news translation maybe let me see Isaiah 58, you know Isaiah 51, 8 is that cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins, right? And once again, we're about to close it out. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 58. The Lord says, shout as loud as you can. Tell my people Israel about their sins. About their what? The transgression of the law, the laws of life. They worship me every day. Claiming that they are eager to know my ways and obey my laws. Law, 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 law. Bring it up. They say they want me to give them just laws and that they take pleasure in worshiping me. Mm hmm. The people ask, why should we fast if the Lord never notices? Why should we go without food if he pays no attention? The Lord says to them, the truth is that at the time you fast, you pursue your own interests and oppress your workers. Your fasting makes you violent and you quarrel and fight. Do you think this kind of fasting will make me listen to your prayers? When you fast, you make yourself suffer. You bow your heads low like a blade of grass and spread out sackcloth and ashes to lie on. Is that what you call a fasting? Do you think I will be pleased with that? The kind of fasting I want is this. Remove the chains of oppression and the yoke of injustice and let the oppressed go free. Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless poor. Give clothes to those who have nothing to wear and do not refuse to help your own relatives. Right, man. Proclaim this word of truth. You know, put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. Put on thy strength, O Israel. You know, return to the Lord, Yahweh Shemasha. Stop fucking around. You know, and uh, we got, we're about to get that. We're about to get Matthew chapter 19 after this, you know. You know, uh, good master, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? You know, love thy brother as thyself, bro. The kind of fasting I want is this. Remove the chains of oppression and the yoke of injustice and let the uh, oppressed go free. Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless. Give clothes to those who have nothing to wear and do not refuse to help your own relatives. Right? Then my favor will shine on you like the morning sun. And your wounds will be quickly healed. I will always be with you to save you. My presence will protect you on every side, bro. When you pray, I will answer you. When you call to me, I will respond. If you put an end to oppression, to every gesture of contempt, and to every evil word, if you give food to the hungry and satisfy those who are in need, 
then the darkness around you will turn to the brightness of noon. You know, ye are the light of the world, a city that cannot be hid, bro. Okay? And I will always guide you and satisfy you with good things, bro. I will keep you strong and well. You will be like a garden that has plenty of water, like a spring of water that never goes dry. You know, he that believeth on me, as stripper has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Your people will build, rebuild what has long been in ruins. Right, man. We're building that third temple right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemasha. You know, all that hear it shall come to life. You know? And roughly paraphrasing, those that, that leave it, you know, shall be, you're going to be destroyed, bro. We're talking about the elect. We're talking about being gathered by the word of truth. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Believing in Yahweh Shemasha and being doers of the word. And now here's only deceiving your own damn self. We got a club over here. Look at all the members we got. Let's march up and down the street. Let's be let's be one with the world. You know? We don't give a damn about the world, bro. Because we're being justified by the words of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, my man. You know? The word the scripture tells us that the, the world gonna hate you for this hundred percent truth. We we quoted it earlier, he that part from evil making himself a prey. Understand what we're involved in, brothers and sisters. Believe in the word of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. But they are faithful and true. The Lord has already told us what's going to happen. How it's going to happen. You know. The spirit of prophecy. He that is with me. You know. He that is. He is. So like how the scriptures, how the scriptures go. He that is not with me. He that is not with me. Is against me. You know. And if you're, if you're not with the Lord. You're scattering the sheep. You're scattering abroad. You're, 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 you're confusing. You're bringing confusion, strife, contention, things that are not edifying. Not, 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 nope, nope, not rivers of living water. Not being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemashah. And if you're not preaching the word of Yahweh Shemashah, you're going off. Once again, if any man shall speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh Shemashah. Once again, if any man shall minister, let him minister with the strength and the spirit that the Lord has given him, you know. Because the scripture even says, you know, I did not send those prophets, yet they ran. You know, false prophets. The deceived and deceiver are his, right? They're going to be out here. They're going to be false prophets among you. All these things are, are here. All, the, all of it. This is the word of Yahweh Shemashah. So when one teaches another, does not one teach thyself? Your people will rebuild what has long been in ruins, bro. That fallen away came. Now this is the great awakening. And you still got Israelites talking about the Israelites, but they don't believe in the 12 tribes chart. Wow. How ignorant do you got to be, bro, to say some shit like that? Damn. Holy shit. Your people will build... Rebuild what was long been in ruins, right? And this and it goes right back to, you know, those that walk according to this rule. Peace be on them. You know, this is all about the elect. The Romans chapter 11 verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which is seeking for. The elect should have obtained it. But the rest were blinded, bro. It's right there in our face, man. Every day, all the time we see it, bro. All pray, hey, once again. The water Yahweh Shemashah for calling us out of darkness into this marvelous light. All praises to the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, bro, for this truth. Your people will rebuild what was what has long been in, in ruins, building again on the old foundations. You know, you will be known as the people who rebuilt the walls, who restored the ruined houses. And it says at the top here. The reward for keeping the Sabbath. The Lord says, if you treat the Sabbath as sacred and do not pursue your own interests on that day, if you value my holy day and honor it by not traveling, working, or talking idly on that day, then you will find the joy that comes from serving me. I will make you honored all over the world, and you will enjoy the land I gave to your ancestors, Jacob, 
I, the Lord, have spoken it. Right, man, if you come back to Yahweh Hashem Hashem in spirit and in truth, we understand we're rehearsing the righteous acts in these last days. You know, we see now, you know, uh, in, you know, in these other parts, I had a few more scriptures coming out, uh, you know, written down through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Um, what does the scripture say? The Lord, you know, does not require a sacrifice. If it did, I would give it. But the sacrifice of Yahweh Shema Shai is a broken heart and a contrite spirit. The Lord said, only acknowledge your offense. You know? And by doing that, you're examining yourselves. Understanding that you're just filthy rags, right? And you know that scripture, because you said, I'm, I'm rich and have need of nothing, but you don't know that you're poor, broken, destitute, you're, you're wretched, you're wicked, just a filthy ass rag. When you walk around, all the scriptures say, the Lord resists the proud, bro. And therefore, if a man teaches another, does not he teach himself, brothers and sisters? Let's go and we're gonna get this last scripture. Caught it. All praise to you. How much much I? Let's get this last scripture right here. Um, in the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Let's start at 15. Let's well, start at 16, Salaki. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, Why calleth me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments, the laws of life to the best of your abilities. We're coming back, rehearsing the righteous acts. You know, what does the scripture say in the book of uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 31? You know, do we, let's go get that real quick. Start at 30. Seeing it is one God, Yahweh Shemashah, which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Because the Messiah even said, I did not come to do away with the law or the prophets, but to fulfill, you know, all those things, you know, that, that was written. And, you know, of course, in these last days, you know, we're coming back rehearsing the righteous acts understanding that we've been deceived by the damn devil who had us going the fuck off you know had us I run around here shooting each other selling drugs to each other defiling our temple bro you know and these laws of life are right here for us to come back to 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 understand the errors of our ways and say you know what we're separate we're holy the Lord you have a has given us these wonderful laws of life and we see that the law is good. And we know that these are things that please the Lord. So we're going to be coming back to the best of our abilities because we have that faith. Once again, a man may say he has faith. But, you know, show me thy faith by thy works. You're going to be, and what, does, what, does, what does the big brother elder always bring out? These are they that, uh, in the book of Revelations, these are they that, we got to go get it, man. Let me see if I can find it real quick. These are they who have the faith of Yahweh Shemasha and works. Yeah, Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh Shemashai and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Right, you, you know, not being a hypocrite, not being over righteous, not being over wicked, but the faith of Yahweh Shemashai. Man, doers of the word, not hearers only. Man, boy, as I, we're speaking these words, man, all these Israelite camps that's going off. Just running through my mind, man. Over all this, all this, all these abominations that they, they they're bringing out, bro. Everything they're doing, everything they're saying, just runs through my mind. You know, because when one teaches another, does not he teach himself? Let's go back and and wrap it up in uh, Matthew chapter nineteen, verse seventeen. And he said unto him, Why callest me thou? Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is Yahweh, but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. And he said unto him, Which? Yahweh shall said, Thou should not do no murder, 
thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. And that's exactly what we was reading. You know, one of our teachers another that steal, does thou steal? But they, wait a minute, didn't they have some guy called the pocket? Coveting, cover, covetousness? All kind, all kind of shit, man. Still calling on another name? Lord have mercy. If judgment must begin in us, you know, at the house of Yah of Yahweh by Shemashai, where shall the we gotta go get that scripture? We're gonna close it out with that. Honor thy father and thy mother, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh shall said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me right hey amen in, in the part two and part three whatever I don't know I don't know how it's gonna play out Lord willing we'll be able to do it but a scripture uh, comes to mind speaking about uh, you know if you can't if you if you don't hate your mother your brother my sister your, your sister you cannot be my disciples right because you, you can't have any anything above you how about Shemasha seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things shall be added unto you that you know that way you know we're you know where your treasure is that where your heart beats also we man all praises to you how about Shemasha we're not worried about this motherfucking place here fuck this this our conversation is in heaven, brothers and sisters. Okay? And we said we're gonna close it out with the uh, first Peter. What was it? First Peter 4:17. It says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Shemash. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel, bro? And if the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? Right, because it's a fearful thing that fall into the hands of the Lord. So we're, man, trying to the best of our ability to do things to please the Lord, but just begging the Lord to have mercy on us so that we can be covered by the blood of the Lamb because we know this is not of us. And there's nothing we can do, you know, if it be the will of the Lord. You know, it's Him that's going to justify. So, man, Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting, brothers and sisters. When one teaches another, does not one teach thyself. So we're going to always try to put our best foot forward and, you know, rehearse the righteous acts and, and have the faith of Yahweh Shemashai and wait to see the salvation of our Lord, man. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.